Deer Season 2019, Episode 3. Opening day of bow season here in North Carolina. Our good buddy Kirk Williams is in a tree trying to get his first self filmed archery kill on video. He's already in the tree. Enough talk. Let's go right to the action and see what he's doing. What's up, guys? It's open. He hadn't been settled in the tree very long, probably 45 minutes, and he sees a few legs walking through the woods. He tried and tried, but he just couldn't get the shot. Those deer slipped away. Hmm, maybe next time, Kirk.
Another hour goes by and he hears footsteps. A couple more deers coming in. Alright guys, I'm down, got pretty good blood, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, old rage opened up on her, got pretty good blood, there we go, right here, and she's already spraying baby, she's already spraying, so we're gonna just keep on, keep on looking. Bunch of blood, pouring blood right there. Yep. Pouring blood. And these deer are already eating acorns too, which is crazy to me, but 
this happening. So there's some big old pile right there. Big old pile. Now you can see that. She's gonna open up here in a minute. I promise you that. I see her up here. We're gonna walk on and look at the blood. Cause that old rage did a number on it, man. Big old dog too. There she is right there. The dang big one. The old rage put it on her, boys. Well, y'all stick with us. See you after I get her out. Alright guys, here she is. Uh, first deer 2019 season here in North Carolina. Got a big doe on the ground. Uh, Rage 2 blade and the bear approach. Would have hurt and all this the first year shooting this bear bow. Um, I've shot them before, but I've went back to them now. Um, and this thing is sweet. I mean, for this doe, she come in, you know, probably stayed in 15 minutes, I feel like. And uh, she'd come to seven yards and then she'd go out you know make a big circle come back in she finally came back in under my tree and uh circled back in and i think i shot her at about 17 or 18 yards and um she ran about 40 yards piled up blood pouring just you know this this rage i never shot them before until last year and i'm definitely a believer in them i know a lot of people don't like them but them things put a hurt on them, I tell you. And uh, you know, if you don't use a lemma shield hunt, uh, body foam, you know, uh, scent spray, uh, body wash, everything. I did every bit of that today, and this doe never smelled me. Wind was in her favor, is blowing towards her, and she was at you know seven yards a couple times and never once smelled me or anything. She looked up at me one time, but she never did smell me. Um, that stuff's awesome, I'll tell you what. And, uh, you know, I, I wear XGO as well, especially as being as hot as it is. Uh, some very awesome moisture wicking products made here in the USA. And, uh, it's, you know, just an awesome product. You know, it's good to get some meat in the freezer early. We'll probably maybe kill one or two more does if I can. I got a bunch of spots that's got a bunch of does. And, uh, you know, I just don't have any good bucks on camera yet, but they'll show up. They'll show up. Um, but yeah, just, you know, enjoy it. Hope y'all like this video and everything. And, um, you know, I appreciate it. So stick with us and hopefully we can get some more deer on the ground and, uh, and some more good footage. Uh, I appreciate you. You know, have a good one. Hey, Kirk, good job on getting your first self film bow kill it's not easy anybody that's done it can tell you it is not easy especially with all those eyes looking around and when there's corn on the ground they're even more spooky so that makes it even harder you did a good job um, probably won't be the first video we get from Kurt and hopefully we can get something on the ground here in the next couple weeks guys we appreciate you watching um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Check us out on Instagram. Check Kirk out on Instagram, Bucks Up Outdoors. I'll put a link in the description. Um, hey, and always remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. Thanks for watching.